Hey y'all, Dark Cowboy Lee here with another video and tips and guides. And this is gonna be how to defeat uh, Yayun Oya Dunir, whatever. It's a moose, right? Let's go go with that. <laughs> the name is so difficult to say for me. But um, this is in Vinland. If you don't know about Vinland, you get to go to Vinland after you get uh, the first assassin line, where you can assassinate uh, the kid of your father, son, right? That ran away early in the single player in Norway. So. Once you get to Vinland, you gotta note that you cannot take none of your gear or weapons with you. So you come in here with nothing. And the only way you can get gear and uh, weapons is by uh, doing some missions and exploring the world by getting gold ingots. That way you could buy, sell, buy it with the uh, good salesman in Vinland, right? So important, I'm gonna say this real quick. It's gonna be pretty simple, this guide. Um, Important ability you should have that you just saw in the background is focus of Nornir, um, best ability in the uh, bow due to the fact that it slows down time and it helps you hit the weak points real early in the fight so you don't got to worry about um, needing to hit the weak point normally while you have a boss charging at you, right? And it makes every other boss fight easier so I recommend having that. Second skill you should have is grit for sure because grit once you get hit you get healed as you can see that's happening a lot in the background like we're fast forwarding to make this video a lot shorter, right? But um, grit is a must-have for sure and skill. And if you're right, if you got grit, you might as well spend four more points and get last chance healing. Which when you lose all your health, you get your health. Uh, you get get a chance to heal instead of dying and need to start the fight all over again, right? So those are two things I would recommend for this fight for sure and the ability, of course, which is focused on Nornir. Anyways, um, the fight's pretty basic. Once you get it down, um, it's gonna change one mechanic where it could throw does st more charging at you, right? They're gonna throw like sand at you, but it, it does more sand attack just so it could charge at you with full force and hit you, right? And get you in the air. So that's how that works. So, um, just you could spam your focus on the near ability every time you get a dread in, it. that way you could uh, do some chip damage as much as you can. But um, be careful with his red charges. Okay, it does take a lot of health, and if you don't have enough rations, I'll just play it more safe and hit hit it from behind as much as you can. You can fight it straight on, but it does those red charge attacks sometimes pretty randomly, right? Um, and it does normal attacks just by swinging its uh, horns uh, around, right? So uh, it's very um, very aggressive fight if you fight it up front. As you can see, I got really aggressive just because I wanted to get the kill off and I had uh, two extra rats in the shot. Like, well, let me just try and fight. But you see the funny animation that happens that I lost a lot of health on. But Grit was helping me out there. That's a perfect example where Grit is a must-have in this fight. Note that I'm doing this fight on very hard, like every boss fight I do. So this is good for you guys if you're doing it on very hard too. I think my skill power level is like 220 at this time, or 227 I believe. So um, if you're around that power level, you should be able to do this fight like that, or even you know, a little lower, right? Okay, I did not have the full gear pieces. I think I was missing one piece of gear. So anyways, um, I hope this video was pretty helpful for you guys. The key points were like the ability and having the two skills that you should use, which is grit and last chance healing. Um, you can make this fight so much easier. But um, yeah, let me know how it goes for you in the comments. Um, like always, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, guys. I appreciate the feedback on comments I got from my other video. Um, it's been really cool um, seeing you guys uh, appreciate it. And hopefully I can do more tips and guys, I know these are pretty basic here because there's not much mechanic on this one besides recommending what you should do, right? Um, like having a spear and some gear, right? To make this fight easier. As you can tell, 227. I was using the basic stuff. Uh, also, that's where you get the bowl too. So make sure you buy the bowl, guys. But anyways, uh, I'll be doing another video soon. And more story uh, cutscene coming out soon too. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So I hope to catch you on the next one, guys. And take care, y'all. And be safe.